Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher. Let's factor by grouping. A is 6, B is negative 13, and C is 6. I'll multiply A times C together. That will give me 6 times 6 which is 36. 36 factors into 1 times 36 and 2 times 18 and 3 times 12 and 4 times 9 and 6 times 6. And since positive 36 also equals a negative times a negative, all positive numbers equal a negative times a negative, we'll multiply negative 1 times negative 36, negative 2 times negative 18, negative 3 times negative 12, negative 4 times negative 9, and negative 6 times negative 6. I need to choose the two factors that will add up to the middle number b, which is negative 13. And that would be negative 4 and negative 9, because negative 4 plus negative 9 equals negative 13. I'll even write that down. Negative 4 plus negative 9 equals negative 13. Okay, let's go to work. We need to convert this three-term polynomial into a four-term polynomial. That means I'm going to have to split negative 13v into negative 4v minus 9v. Let's do it. 6v squared, oops, I used the wrong color. 6v squared minus 9v, nah, that's silly to turn them around like that, but it doesn't matter, minus 4v plus 6. Okay, notice there's a minus in the middle. That means we have to go to a little more trouble, but not a lot more trouble. Group the first two terms. Group the second two terms, but the middle sign becomes its opposite, which is a minus. Now we factor each, you know why I did that, because you have a minus in the middle. If there were a plus in the middle, we would not do it. Okay, but we do have a minus in the middle, and that's why this sign, this second sign, is now um, a negative. Okay, so let's factor a GCF out of each term out of each set of parentheses, rather. 6, is, well, 6v squared is 2 times 3 times v times v. And 9v is 3 times 3 times v. 4v minus 6 is 2 times 2 times v. And 6 is 2 times 3. So negative 6 is negative 2 times 3. Minus 2 times 3. Okay, each of, uh, each of the terms in the first set of parentheses has a 3v in it. I will circle the 3v right there, and I will write it yeah, ooh, that was messy. 
I will write it in front like that. And I'll write the leftovers 2 minus C, 2V two, two minus 3. Over here, I really should have written minus 2 times 3 as minus 3 times 2, but I didn't. We'll just see that there is a 2 in each of these terms. I'll pull it out and leave the minus sign there. So let's see. Um, we pulled out a 2. There's the 2 and there's the 2. I'll be left with 2v minus 3. So now in the entire polynomial, we have 2v minus 3 on each side of the middle sign, which means 2v minus 3 is our greatest common factor. So I write down 2v minus 3. And then I write down the leftovers, 3v minus 2. Now let's check. Let's check our work. So I'll check. And I'm going to FOIL, F-O-I-L. 2v times 3v is 6v squared. And of course, there are underst understood plus signs between the letters. So I'll have 6v squared plus outside, which will be 2v times negative 2, which will be negative 4v plus inside, which is negative 3 times positive 3v, that will be negative 9v. And last will be negative 3 times negative 2, so that will be positive 6. Now in this kind of problem, the middle terms are like terms, so I can add them together. I'll have 6v squared plus negative 13v plus 6. And then since plus a negative is the same thing as subtracting, I'll rewrite this as 6v squared minus 13v plus 6. Now notice this is exactly what I began with. So that means this answer, this factorization, is correct.